After a challenging first two days, dealing with wet and windy weather and winding country roads. Alex and the team are ready to start the final leg of Talisman's journey. The conditions couldn't be better on this beautiful day in Cumbria. Having successfully completed the first two days of this adventure, starting at Threckold Mining Museum, heading to Grasmere and then on to Kendall, the last stage of the challenge sees Alex and the team heading for Alex's workshop in Balth, where Talisman's story all began. Yeah, last, last part of the journey today. Um, it's the furthest we've got to go today, mile-wise. It's 21 and a half miles roughly but we're hoping we'll be quicker because it's more sort of main roads. We've got a couple of hills, we've got one just leaving here, it's quite a steep pull, certainly down a couple of gears there and then um, giving it our all, but hopefully, hopefully we'll get to the top, we know uh, too much drama, and, uh, and then downhill then, all the way home. Due to Talisman's colossal size, Alex and the team need to take regular stops to fill up on water, replenish coal supplies, and fix any essential repairs. This stop, however, was to allow the team to take a moment's silence on Remembrance Sunday and pay their respects to the brave servicemen and women who served in past conflicts. With the final prep completed, Alex and Talisman set off on the final stretch of a journey that has been eight years in the making. You set off about the have these great ideas, let's move a railway engine. You know, at the time it seemed a really good idea. Um, and then as it got a bit nearer, I was a bit worried about thinking, oh God, what could go wrong? And you know, what if the engine, if, what if it breaks down catastrophically? And then what if we have an accident? All, you know, all the things, there's hundreds of things that could go wrong. Couldn't, can't believe overwhelmed by the amount of people come out to see it. I don't really know how they all knew about it, but I mean, the sides of the roads were just lined with people, people on bridges, and they'd come out to see it. But everyone, everyone's just been smiles and waves, and you never see it again. Not around here, you won't see, you won't see that. As they head round the last few corners to their final destination at Alex's workshop at Old Hall Farm, having successfully completed their challenge, you can see the emotions running through Alex and his team. The joy, the relief, and the pride at what they have achieved together. We've done it, yeah, we're back. Yeah, that was um, something else. <laughs> it was definitely an experience, I think, if you never did anything else again like that, you, you'll never ever forget it. It was just about, it's an achievement because not only it's about building the engine and then it's putting it to its test all the rest, it actually, when you realise how hard those engines have to work to do what we've just done, and we've done it with very little problems in the time we expected and today we've done it in half the time that we thought. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. But it, I think it's earned its place in history is, it's the real deal. It's what it says on the tin and a lot more. It, it isn't just me by any stretch. I couldn't do this without really good friends, um, you know, all the people, my family, everyone's fully supportive, even the horses come to help. And um, it, you, you know, and Morris Lubricants have helped all along the way. They've helped with the build of the engine, they've helped with the trailer, they've helped with this journey, with moving the engine. The whole thing behind this for us was to, to just show what Britain can produce still. Um, British engineering skills, uh, we've still got the skills to manufacture something like that behind us. Uh, and the engine in the middle there is two or three years old and the others are 100 years old. So we can still do it and we've still got the capability to do it. And the engine themselves have delivered a uh, performed fault the seat I've heard. So, uh, just goes to show that we can still do it. And, and Morris Lubricants, we wanted to show that actually British engineers still are the best in the world, and that's what they're doing. But um, would you do it again? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> <laughs>